What's up, everybody? Welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. I'm Angel. This video is sponsored by none other than Skillshare. If you have not checked out Skillshare before, I don't know what you are up to because I've been using them for a couple of months now, actually quite several months actually and they have so much to offer it is a community of creatives that are looking to explore their curiosity to take their skills to another level and it doesn't matter what skill level you're at now skillshare will have a class for you some of the topics that i'm interested in is productivity self-development of course, social media, as well as um, the design. So Skillshare has classes for everybody. They have a combination of um, class videos as well as class projects. They even have some live classes. There's a certain class that I'm looking up right now that I'm thinking about taking because it seems really interesting, which is YouTube success, script, shoot, and edit with MKBHD, and that's by Marquise Brownlee. Lily Singh has a, a, a Skillshare class on there, and she is the master of YouTube. I've taken classes through all different types of topics. I did a class on taking care of houseplants. I've done a class on making teas or making cocktails with green teas, as well as another class on professional development. So there is a plethora of classes that you can take. There's so many wonderful things about Skillshare and you're able to do it anytime, anywhere from the comfort of your home. Most classes are less than 60 minutes. It fits in to everyone's lifestyle and you get to hone a skill that you already have or learn a new skill just by being curious to do it. So what I want you to do is click the link that's in the description box. The first 1000 people who click on that link will get to try Skillshare premium for one month, okay? A free trial. So make sure you click that link and uh, give Skillshare a try. All right, you guys, on to the vlog. Bye. That chick angel. So the kids are sitting here with the nanny having their lunch. They had a, look at this, it's so I'm coming. I realize we haven't vlogged the kids. They are having their five day weekend. Oh, what is this here? Um, they literally had Friday off last week. Yes, baby. Come on, no, come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. All right. I'll see y'all in a little bit, okay? They don't care. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, my God. Listen, and then here come Amari. And my husband, he over here talking about bye. And what, what about those? What about all these bags that need to be mailed off that he didn't already forgot? You over here saying bye-bye. Oh, do I have my... I don't know if I have my phone. I am struggling. Oh, I thought you were gonna close the thing. But I wasn't thinking about it. So we are going into the pe the post office to mail off. Oh, thank you so much. To mail off shirts. I I'm going to check my P.O. box, but I think I just stupidly left my keys in the truck. Let me. Uh, I had Marcus listening to Andre 3000's verse. Oh, yep, I did. Oh, and I like the party. Okay. Let me hurry up. Because they close on time. It might be locked. It's locked. Okay. Okay. Same way. There might be a lock. Nothing's in there. So this will be a quick visit. Okay. Well, let's just take it. Okay. Hold on. I'll be right back. So you guys, I'm getting ready to do something that I've never done before in this house. And that shoes. 
our oven. Marcus yeah, bought it. Remove the cancer sticker off of it. Everything in California gives you cancer, apparently. Yeah. Well, yeah. or no, California is the only state that requires people to put yes, a sticker on. Yes, there you <laughs> go. There's the difference. Um, our old double oven was malfunctioning. The board was, and we could not get someone to come and fix it. So we bit the bullet because these are double ovens are expensive. They're typically the lowest you can get is for three thousand dollars, which is just a, a lot. Marcus went to a place that we used to, uh, that we got some of our other appliances from. Um, they're not like a major retailer, and so he was able to get it for a thousand dollars less than what we could have gotten it at. And within a week, because apparently the chip shortage apparently affected everything. People can't even get pregnant because of the chip shortage. <laughs> um, so they actually were able to deliver this and install it and install it the same week. Microwave is a different story. Mm -hmm. That we get out the microwave, but the trim around it is like three months out. So maybe eventually we'll upgrade and uh, get it over to an LG. But right now, none of our stuff matches up. But we don't care. Actually, everything does except, did except the refrigerator. Everything else is Whirlpool. Well, now we're at LG in Whirlpool. What's the refrigerator? GE. Yeah. So we we all over the place. It's all stainless steel. I don't give a damn. Anybody I don't care. Friends in here. I don't care. The what? next thing that's gonna happen for this kitchen. Oh, kitchen aid. Oh, yeah, so we got everything. I but don't care. What's look that? at these handles. Look, look how strategic this is. Everything got the same exact handles. That's all that matters. That's exactly. all that matters. Everything so, that has a handle. Let me show you. Same. Let me show you. Porcelain. How pretty this is. He got a porcelain interior. Look at that beautiful blue. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. So I'm about it's, to. Uh, both up and down our convection. It's a convection oven, which is basically a massive air fryer. That's all it is. Yeah. So we got two air fryers. So it's going to be great for Friendsgiving. But right now I'm about to roast some broccoli as I well, listen. We got, top, we got top and bottom. Don't, don't neglect the bottom. That's oh. where all the nitty gritty happen. Boom. Hey. It's a double oven. Two Give of them. So I'm about to roast some broccoli. I bought rotisserie chickens. I'm gonna make the boys also some either some rice or some uh, those like chicken noodle things. And um, I'm gonna make myself a baked potato. I mean a sweet potato. So yeah, let's do it. Okay guys, so you see the new hairstyle is loading. I'm doing extremely long braids. I wanted to do something cute, but also just having to even deal with my natural hair on tour. While it's not like too, too cumbersome, it can be if I don't wanna have the right hair products. Um, I left my, my detangling brush um, in Orlando, had to wait until I got back to buy a new one. So just being able to have my hair braided up or in some sort of protective style makes it so that I don't have to use as much time to get ready. Um, all I have to do is my makeup, which is good. Amber, who's my braider, she's here, braiding me up. Um, so, got this uh, long 60 inch hair and I uh, rinsed it in water and um, vinegar this morning and then sat it outside. It didn't dry completely, but um, we got it, got it, we got it good enough. Amber had to take some excess water off. <laughs> Been having business meetings. Um, we have two organizers here from Natural Born Organizers. I will um, show you the progress they've made. They're doing our downstairs. And once I see what type of job they do with the time we've hired them, if they really are good, then we'll hire them to do the rest of the house because they are not cheap. But at the same time, we've been in this house for months now and the house still looks like we're moving in. So obviously we need help so um they are one's in the garage the other one's in the living room and they just getting it done so i'll be doing this one of my meetings got canceled i'm waiting for an email to come through that's basically all the stuff that, that we were going to discuss at the meeting so i can figure out if i'm moving with this company or not and um now i'm about to edit this vlog boom that'll go up on tomorrow no 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 it'll go up on friday 
this will be my Friday vlog. I know what else I need to shoot, but I'm gonna wait until after my hair is braided. I need to shoot my Skillshare ad that I have for this month. Ooh. So business is going good. I got a couple things I need to buy. A new crate for the dog. I need to buy the furniture for the bedroom. Not not the furniture, but the new sheets, the blind, not the blinds, the curtains. There's a couple of pieces of furniture. I'm about to do all that today as well. So I'll talk to y'all a little bit. So what's good, fam? I uh, just dropped some stuff off at Goodwill. Um, dropped at large. We had a large gray uh, coffee table. Thing is heavy. I just dropped that off and um, what else I do? The large TV that was in the den at the other house. The LEDs are going out. I just dropped that off at a uh, recycling, uh, electronic recycling place. The organizers are at the house right now. Um, so they're right now tackling the living room, the front area and the garage. Um, I'm hope, the look, garage is actually looking pretty up. I think it was, can I go? Yeah, I can go over this way. Um, I think it's gonna need Angel to be willing to purge more stuff. Just by me looking at it, I don't know, they may be able to come up with more, more ways to organize. I know we're gonna end up getting some shelves uh, to go in, but right now in the living room, like it looks better. They're not finished. They just started not too long ago, so they're not finished, but so when I say this, so keep that in mind, but it just looks like they organized our clutter in the living room. Um, and that's what I don't want. That's my homegirl, Carl. Let me hit y'all right there. So what's good, fam? That was a homegirl, Carl, and had to get some things in order with her. Anyway, running these errands, I uh, actually just left Coles. I need to get, um, trying to get clothes for this uh, photo shoot. I actually got um, Victor, he sent links to everything, but the stuff that he sent me is, uh, it ain't panning out the way I needed to so I had to try to find these clothes some most of the clothes I have is actually just a one shirt actually not even a shirt just the two different pair of slacks because my uh, body shape has changed drastically since the last time I got slacks and style has changed too drastically since uh, the last time I got slacks or a suit or anything actually not one suit but it ain't the color I need in the slacks anyway I was in Kohl's looking for clothes and typical typical what the issue I have is I can't find stuff in my size which is 38 34 I don't understand I know a, uh, quite a few people my size that will wear a 38 34 and they skip all around it every time as soon as you get to 38 the link drops to 32 and it's annoying but my question is who the hell is wearing these 34 34 I don't know who what that even looks like that's somebody in my height, maybe a little shorter, maybe a little taller, but they have to be a complete stream being like, what enormous blade of grass is wearing a 34-34? And it's common. I see it everywhere I go look for clothes. I always see it 34-34. But as soon as it gets to 38, it goes 38-30, 38-32. Rarely do I see a 38-34. And it's just annoying. I don't get it. I don't know what these people's uh, thing are. And that's why I end up spending, um, not to brag or anything, but you know, just spending like on higher end designer clothes. Cause if, I like, if I'm like, I'm gonna be ordering clothes, I might as well just order something nice and not some goddamn whatever they got in clothes or anywhere else and just get my, you know, stuff that fits me that's gonna look right. Um, that's my annoyance for right now. Other than that, I got a business meeting, gotta go pick up Marcus. I don't know if I'm gonna go set his bus stop or not, cause that bus be coming late. It's annoying. Um, but I, but we got the yeah we got the organizer at the house. I told y'all that. I feel like a lot of time has passed since I talked to y'all when the phone call came in. I just wanted to make sure y'all was fully up to date on what was happening. That was it, I believe. Oh, I forgot my wallet. Ain't that something? I was at pulled up, got out, walking in, and realized my wallet sat down. The reason for that is. Usually I have everything, but the problem is, is I carry this bag now because it's got hand sanitizer in it, it's got this camera in it, it's got, uh, when I got a Marna with me, it's got, you know, they stuff, got diapers, um, a, a diaper and maybe some wipes. Just carrying a lot of stuff at this point. Um, and I refuse to carry anything big, so I just got this little 
crossbody backpack I be wearing. But uh, yeah, so I had to run to the house and get my wallet. Now I'm hungry. Okay guys, so mm, I think I'm gonna change my earrings. These earrings don't go with this dress. Um, I am at Kev on Stage Studios Soundstage. I am about to shoot Love on Stage with everyone, that one, <laughs> my husband, and Melissa. You should be pulling up. It's call time's not until 11, Kevin. It's 10.49. That is not 11. Uh, so we're just waiting on him. I'm mad because I didn't have time to put on eyelashes. So I feel like I look like a bald eagle without them. Yeah, this goes better. This also kind of looks like a circus tent from right here, but it's actually cute. Should I? I've been trying to decide on whether or not. So it's like free flowy all the way down. So I got a belt. Let's see here. Let's see. I really like this belt. I don't know. I might ask my Instagram with or without the belt. All right, I'm gonna take y'all in there in one second. So what's good, fam? A little bit of a different situation. This may look familiar. All of that back there. Isn't the set beautiful? It really is. We are on this young lady's show, Love on Stage. There's Kev, Angel. I knew uh, Lyft would be dress the part and i knew angel would match that um so that's why y'all got me on the hat and i knew kev would have on a t-shirt um, i don't think he has anything outside of t-shirts other than expensive suits that he only wears in photo shoots but anyway this is what we're doing full production it's live it's lit getting it done uh, i meant to tell y'all all this at the house but i was rushing trying to get out because mar was not trying to let me leave the house or let me get ready no he wasn't trying to let me get ready Oh. Yeah, he wasn't paying no attention to Coco. Yeah, gave him a bath and all that. Everything in that video. Uh, he's a he's a demon. What is their current? So what's good, fam? We are wrapping up love on stage over here. There's everybody getting unmiked. I still got my mic on. I forgot all about that. I would have been sitting in my truck and still. Uh, that's cold. That's cold for Phoenix. Um, yeah, I would have forgot all about that, Mike. But I don't know if y'all remember this young lady. Oh yay! Wow! I'm so happy. Um, I got my mic on too. But yeah, we just got finished rapping. This angel. Okay. But it was out here all day. Shoes off. That boy had on shoes all the time we've been here. I thought it was.